how long before advanced VR and telepresence keeps us from having to travel around the world? Well, I'm actually sitting here in Shanghai on an American airline plane. There we are. And uh, about to take a 10 hour flight back to LA. So um, <coughs> it's something I think about a lot. This year uh, at our XPRIZE Visioneering Summit, uh, we had one of the top XPRIZE concepts that came out of it, funded by ANA Airlines, is the idea of an avatar XPRIZE, where in the near future, you put yourself into a VR headset, audio, and actually haptic gloves, and you can transport your consciousness into a robot on the other side of the planet and move around, do what you have to do, give a lecture, climb a mountain, go and visit the pyramids, whatever it is. So that's the future, and here we have overhead. I thought I'd get away from those, but anyway, uh, I think it's gonna be a gradual, step-by-step -step increase of our consciousness uh, being able to be transported around the world, but um, not anytime soon. I, I think uh, the Avatar X Prize is probably uh, eight to ten years out uh, and uh, I'm hoping for a hyperloop and other technologies to make the trip uh, fast and, and painless. Anyway, those of you who have questions, uh, remember hashtag AskPeterD. Love to answer them. Thanks, Art, for your question. Take care.